So, unfortunately, this week it's going to have to be the question of, was it worth it? Pizza Hut, you'd expect it to be, wouldn't you? But we'll see. Welcome back. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the views. Things need to change, I think. Um, so as I say, this week, uh, was it worth it? This is going to be the question, I think, going forward. Um, it is a review. So ultimately, was it worth it? Was it worth paying the money? Uh, were the flavours right? Was the content right? Were the ingredients right? And the delivery experience right? So again, as I say, was it worth it? We'll see in a second. Uh, pizza this week, so something slightly different just to burgers and fries and that kind of stuff takeaway. The melts being a new item, I would say straight away they're not what they look like on the picture. They're not as big for a start. Uh, I don't know whether that's just this particular pizza hut or not, but they weren't as big as the kind of picture uh, depicts. So a bit of a wrap kind of uh, at the most, you know, folded, folded pizza. Um, but quite a small pizza there. I didn't see any size differences that you could choose. So I think they're all one size. Um, they were filled pretty well in terms of it being meat feast, but you'll see in a second, um, they were kind of like the sandwich style. So the, the front being sort of more filled than the back. Uh, I don't know, you know, you, you decide. You can see the picture of the melt on the marketing uh, as opposed to what you get. Now, I've always enjoyed pizza as, as a pizza place. So obviously I didn't get a pizza as such. Um, so we'll try that going forward in the future. But the barbecue wings and the halloumi fries, just for comparison to kind of other places to see what their um, kind of offerings were at the moment, they weren't particularly big. So these chickens have been chilling, I would say 24 seven. They have not been putting any muscle mass on. Um, skinny, flats and they're all flats as well but the chicken itself was cooked well uh had good flavor good depth of flavor the barbecue sauce as you can see it wasn't kind of dripping in the sauce at all uh barely any kind of like sauce in terms of on your finger so it's more of a seasoning but they were really nice uh quite say like i say quite a, a deep flavor um and cooked well kind of a bit more of a charring on them the halloumi fries um, I would never order again. Like, I love halloumi fries, don't get me wrong, but these had almost nothing in them. They were like a fry in the middle, as in a McDonald's size fry in the middle, with the batter and the coating on the outside that kind of stayed its shape or kept its shape rather, and the halloumi shrunk in the middle, which is inevitable. But they need to sort this out because you're paying a fair amount of money, although there was five, and you're getting like half of what you should get. So I'm not rating the halloumi fries at all. The melt, as you can see there, the top is very, very thin and the bottom's kind of a little bit thicker, um, but it was a crispy, like a, you know, sort of a folded wrap that had put, been put in a grill. Um, I, I just can't see how, you know, it's a new item, so you'd have thought they'd put more effort into them. And, you know, again, they're not cheap for what you're getting, you know, £10, I think it was, or £9.99. Um, meat feast, so more ingredients. Um, than probably the you know the others the, the three cheese or the the mac and cheese um mac and cheese probably would be quite nice but again it probably be quite soft um in terms of the dough is soft as well so the contrast of, of a firmer filling or topping um i think contrasts well you know if you're gonna if everything's soft it kind of becomes a bit mushy so it was a nice you know as i say nice flavors um the ingredients were still the same as you'd get on a normal pizza mozzarella cheese cooked well probably could have been a lot hotter so i think they probably sat for a little while um but i'm i wouldn't have them again i'd have them as a you know to taste a new item but that's that's probably about it um crispy on the outside probably a little bit too crispy uh, probably more of like a lunchtime item so overall wings aside which i'd still give seven or eight out of ten for the flavors overall as you'll see 5.5 that's the lowest rating i think i've given any uh, restaurant at this point but it's just above average you know the pizza themselves probably fine mm -hmm. 